talk about triangle inequalities. During class, you'll be given different uh, straws, three different straws, and you will have to see uh, the relationship between the straws if you can form a triangle. Uh, I don't really have it with up here, but so we'll just look at the map right here. You have three sides of a straw, four inches, five inches, and eight inches. Can this form a triangle? So, for example, you have a eight inch, and then you have a four inch, and then you have a five inch. It is possible. Next one, you have a two, three, and five. So you have a five inch, you have a two inch, and then three inch. This is not possible. That's weird. So why is this possible and why is this not possible? So you're going to make an observation in a few seconds. Uh, in the next example, you have an eight inch, then you have a three inch, and you have four inch. This is not possible again. This one you have a five inch, this one you have two inch, this one has four inch. Oh, that's possible. And the next one, you have a seven inch, you have a four inch straw, and you have five inch. It, did it make a triangle? It did, it did. It's possible. So what is the summary? Let's go back. Let's look at this. So we have eight inch, this is the base, and then we have the two other sides. Four and five is nine, which is greater than eight. So it became possible. Interesting. In this one, we had two plus three is five, and it is equal to five. This is not possible. In this one, we had three plus four is seven, is less than eight. Again, it's not possible. Here we have two plus four is six, is greater than five, which is the base uh, side. It's possible. Here we had 4 plus 5 is 9, is greater than 7, is possible. So what makes three of them possible and the other one not possible? Funny, the not possible is when it's, it's uh, less than or equal. But when it was possible, it was more than, more than, and more than. So the summary from what I can tell is, if you take any two sides and combine it, it has to be greater than the third side. For example, if you take two sides here, 2 plus 5 is 7, it's greater than 4. 4 plus 5 is greater than 2. 2 plus 4 is greater than 5. So my summary is, if you combine any two sides, it must be greater than the third side. So that's the summary. If you can buy any two sides, it must be greater than the third side. So in your words, I just explained it. Give an example of three lengths that can form a triangle. Um, let's use three and four. It's greater than five. Let's see. Take any two sides, three and four, be greater than the third side. If you combine it, so three plus four is seven, that's greater than five. You go take these two, 9 is greater than 3, and 8 is greater than 4. So it is true. Give an example of three links that cannot form a triangle. Um, I guess I'll use 3, 4 again, and I'll do, well, that's 7, so I have to do 8. So I take any two sides, 3 and 4. Is it greater than the third side? No. So that's a one that cannot form a a triangle. Complete the set of links so they can form a triangle. So we have 5 and 8. That adds up to 13. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So is 13 greater than 12? It is. 1 and 1 is 2. I'll say 0 0.5. Next one. 6 and, let's see, I want to make greater than 1, I'll do 6 and 
15. 6 and 15 is 21. Is 21 greater than 20? It is. So we take any two sides. Uh, 15 plus 20 is 35. It's greater than 6. 6 plus 20 is 26. So it's greater than 15. Next one. 4 and 10 is 14. Um, 14. Let's say 14 is greater than 12. So we take any two sides. These two sides, 10 plus 12 is 22, that's greater than 4. 4 plus 12 is 16, greater than 10. 4 plus 10 is greater than 12. So any two sides, combine it, will be greater than the third side. Let's try some more examples. Uh, is that it? Now circle the length in each of the sets above that would have the largest angle across from it. So we may remember in our last uh, YouTube video, if the angle is extremely large in measurement, the side opposite of it will be the largest side. So here, let's what say it's what it's reading again. Circle the link in each of the sets above that would have the largest angle across it. So largest side will have largest angle. Largest side, largest side will have the largest angle across from it. And next one, star the length in each of the sets above that would have the shortest angle across from it. The shortest side will have the shortest angle across from it. And here is our stuff. So let's read the next one. Did any of the sets not have a longest side or a shortest side? Yes, this one. Why? Because this is an isosceles triangle. So an isosceles triangle, remember eyes, we are born with two identical eyes, so two of the sides are the same, isosceles. I just answer some question about the two shorter sides of a triangle measure 12 centimeters and 18 centimeters. You know, I'm going to draw this, 12 and 18 centimeters. Which of the following could not be the length of the longest side of the triangle? So I put 29 right here. So, what is 12 plus 18? 30. 30 is greater than 29. That's possible. That's true. Let's put 26. That's 30. 30 is greater than 26. That's true. This one will be 30. 12 plus 18 is 30. 30 is not greater than 30, so that's false. 12 plus 18 is 30. 30. And then the last one is 25. That's false. So the answer is C. So, Taking any two sides, it has to be greater than the third side. And the last one, which of the following links can be the size of a triangle? So I take any two sides, and it will have to be greater than the third side. So for example, 90 and 32 is 122. That's not greater than 127. 50 and 33 is 83. That's the same as that. No. 30 and 16 is 46. 46 is greater than 44. Possible. 30 and 19 adds up to 49. That is not greater than 50. So H is the answer. Again, so a triangle, triangle inequality, taking any two sides, it has to be greater than the uh, third side. So you have to combine the two smaller sides, or any two sides, it has to be greater than the uh, third side.